Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. After introducing the Auto Takuma 35mm f2.3, which is an awesome lens, you will never regret collecting lenses like this with a price over the average. The less passive lens from this series doesn't mean they aren't good, like the Super Takuma 28mm. It has rich color rendering, sharp like a modern lens perfect for a walk around in the high street or traveling. And this time, I brought you this hefty super multi-coated Takuma 24mm f3.5 with each original hood for less than $60. I reviewed the lenses of this series according to their generation, focal length and lastly their optical design. You may be wondering why I didn't take a Super Takuma 24mm f3.5 but instead for a new generation. Yes, you are right and before having the present version I was in doubt too which version will be added to my collection. The facts are, the Super Takuma production date ranged from 1967 to 71 and the Super Multi Kota Takuma production date ranges from 1971 to 75. Both of them are almost equal in terms of length and weight. Same at the diameter, filter size, aperture, diaphragm and optical design that is a 9 lens in 8 groups. The 24mm was an expensive alternative to the super multi-coated Takuma 28mm, which was produced at the same time as the present lens, and to whom could afford it. They are almost the same, but why do I still choose the later one? Back into my previous chapter of the Super Takuma 28, which is the Super, and this Super Multi-coated. Difference sits on the coatings. The later one has a better coating which provides richer color, sharper and better control against flare. The comparison made between the two, unfortunately I don't have an eagle's eyes, however the control against flare is stronger than the super. And many times I am in closed narrow spaces in the need for work. I need a more close to modern tool where pictures or footage collected needs to be sharp from the front to the background. So this time I have chosen sharpness and saturation, not taking into account the bouquet, in favor of colorful cityscape and life. And now let's watch how it performs. <laughs> 